This is Gadget Stop 321 In today's video I'm going to take a look at the damage I did to my Sailor Pro Color 500 today at school. Today was the second day of school, the first day that I attempted to use my Sailor Pro Color and during my prep hour I had graded some papers and I just loved how this pen and ink combo performed on uh, just regular old copy paper and I was done grading papers and I was standing at my lectern and I thought of something that I wanted to add to a to-do list and when I uncapped the pen, just dropped it. And it seemed like it fell just straight horizontal on the ground. And I thought, oh, didn't hit the nib. Thank goodness. And I checked. There didn't appear to be any scratches. And I went to write on my to-do list and saw the damage. And it just made my heart sink because I've been looking forward to using this pen. This was going to be my grading pen for the rest of the year. And I guess so far, technically, it can still be because it doesn't appear to have affected the writing. But man, it's just so ugly to look at it. Ugh. Okay, let's take a look at how it writes after being dropped on the floor. It must have just barely, since it's bent down like this, oh man, it must have just barely hit at a really shallow angle, but I don't have my glasses up here. We'll see how this goes. Now, I've had the lid off, so let's get it going. I don't think it feels any rougher. I think at the angle that it's bent, with it being bent back to the left and I'm moving this way when I write, that's best case scenario. But that also, since it's bent sideways, I really doubt I'm gonna be able to bend it back. And I really, since it writes, Decently, I don't trust myself to attempt to work on it. I don't have the tools. All I have is some needle nose pliers, and I think that would just tear it up. Um, I've got KWZ standard grapefruit in here. I'm really... I just like this color ink with this pen and I like the wetness of this ink and the saturation. <sighs> but I, I don't know. Hopefully over time I will be able to ignore it but oh today it just made me sick each hour I had papers coming in and I uh, just did not want to use that to grade them I've only got one other pen that I've damaged 
by dropping really one other pin that I've damaged at all. Just this little Jet Pins metal pocket pin. I think it was around $12 when I got it a few years ago. Instead of dropping the pin, I was at school sitting at my desk. I dropped the cap, and when I kind of scooted back to look for the cap, I stepped on it, and it kind of pushed it into the floor, and the cap rubbing against the floor, well, these scratches right here. Now I used my little thing of micro mesh that I have. I just kind of brushed over it slightly so you can't really feel it. It's not very, you know, I've used it since then but you know this wasn't one of my most treasured pins to begin with so I've kind of thought about giving it away to someone who I've had kids who were interested in fountain pens, and at some point, this one will probably be given away to someone. But this pen, I just really like this, this Sailor Pro Color 500 with the steel nib. It's just the nice, a nice balance of it looks nice, but uh, you know it doesn't have the gold nib, so it's not as expensive. Um, I didn't have any cons. When I was listing the pros and cons of this pen, um, I think one of the cons I listed was that it didn't come with a, a converter, but, you know, I got a really good deal on it. it. It's not that big a deal to pick up a converter. It's still a, a pretty decently priced pen for that. But, uh, that is just... not let's see if it'll focus I don't know why I want to look at it I keep pulling it out and looking at it Ugh. but that's a little dry because I keep playing with it well, I can definitely feel that it's smoother this way because the nib is curving back. Smoother this way, a little rougher that way. That is noticeable. Mm. But now I know this was a good lesson. I'm not going to be using my gold nib pens at school. I just cannot be trusted. I had my cream color 1911 standard there in my purse, but it has Dimine Earl Grey in it. That's not something I'm, you know, going to be using much at school. Wouldn't be using it for grading, but. Oh, hey, if anybody knows any anything about having nib work done, how much it costs, whether it's worth it, this is a $40 pen with a steel nib, whether it's worth it to look into having it repaired, or if it writes, just leave it the way it is, any advice would be appreciated. If you found this video helpful, Please give me a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.